Can you believe that another year of your life is almost past? Somebody please slow down the ticking clock. Christmas just one month away. And this week, my favorite holiday in America. I love the fives of Thanksgiving. Time to be grateful for faith, family, friends, good food, and football on the TV to reflect in this past year's learning experiences, to gaze ahead and plan for the next chapter of our lives. Let me ask you, how many goals did you achieve from last year? And did you set any? Rick Warren, the best-selling author of The Purpose Driven Life, writes, we should set what he calls godly goals, which are big, hurry, audacious goals, which demonstrate the power of our beliefs. And if we don't set goals, he says we're settling for the status quo. So let me explain. Think about it. If we didn't set a goal to improve our health, then we can hardly complain of at the end of the year. We still have the same body size and energy levels. Did we set goals to get out of debt? And if we didn't, are we really choosing to stay financially challenged? Did we set a goal to reach certain targets in our business? And if not, then we can hardly put all the blame on the world's economy as we did not specifically set an intention to change our career results. And here's the catch. There's an oft-quoted study, Harvard or Yale, depending on where you've read it, that reported that 3% of a graduating class were found to be earning 10 times that of a group that had no clear written goals. That is an urban myth. It didn't happen. See, it's not enough to write down your goals. Gail Matthews from Dominican University in her documented research found that written goals are more effectively achieved when they're implemented with specific action, daily commitments, and weekly progress reports with a supportive friend or mentor. Accountability is key. That's why Tiger has a coach. Here's my challenge to you. One, write out three goals you want to accomplish in 2024 in the areas of spirituality, health, relationships, education, finances, business, and material things. Two, write out the action steps you need to take for each goal. Three, choose a confident, trustworthy who, will share, who you'll share your progress with each week. You don't have one, my cons are mine. I'll be that confident for you this week. Let us be grateful for what we have. Let's affirm our greatest joy comes from giving the others. Let's challenge ourselves to become more in 2024 so we can extend our godly blessings to those we love, our neighborhoods, our country. May there be peace and sanity in this crazy world. Happy Thanksgiving to you all.